It's time to build my dream house. I built a lot of things in Fortnite, but I was thinking it'd be fun to actually build my dream house. So today we're gonna do it. And I, I honestly don't even know what my dream house is. So uh, this is gonna be a journey. I wanna build it up high so I can have some room to build some terrain and stuff around me. I would love to live like up in the mountains, like a lake house kind of thing. Now for my dream house, it's not just me. I have a family and I asked them what they would want in a dream house. And I said they could have three requests. So my wife said she wants a built-in storage. Uh, so so boring an adult she also wants a fireplace in the bedroom and a soaking tub the kids said they want to slide in the house from their room down like to the living room they want like a fun playhouse in the backyard and my three-year-old said he wants a trash can so uh, we're gonna have to figure out what that means maybe some sort of a really cool trash can <laughs> okay now i need to kind of figure out the general look of the house honestly i love the look of the things in craggy cliffs especially like over here love the feel of these walls at least compared to anything else in fortnite i don't know about these windows I might have to do some like custom windows, but these might be like the walls of my house. Honestly, I kind of love this just like plain white wall that I can overlay with these walls. But the interior is a nicer look than this wallpaper junk. I do need to figure out how I'm going to do windows and doors with this though. I do have this piece, which I think makes it so I can have like nice big windows because big windows are a big deal for me. I love like natural light. So something like this where it has that glass in the way could work really well. It's also a huge dream of mine to have like a wraparound porch that goes around the whole house so i'm definitely gonna build that into it i mean this is already starting to look cool uh, it's not i haven't built anything yet but i'm gonna place down my first piece which is the porch going into the house once again though the house i don't know if i would want walls i like big doors like i said we're gonna have to do a custom doorway here okay here's our doorway i think that looks freaking cool it takes a lot of pieces to make just one doorway but i'm gonna copy this so i have it for other doors and then i'm actually gonna open these up just to me a little bit more inviting this is gonna kind of be my back door though all right that's looking good now actually as i'm looking at this i think it might be kind of fun to take out these walls here and have multiple doorways right next to each other that way it kind of has the i don't know more natural light coming in but also they're not necessarily windows they're doors i think that looks kind of cool oh yeah guys oh uh, this is turning out so good already okay let me lay out my house at least the like exterior and we'll go from there All right, I think I'm mostly done the exterior. We've got lots of windows. You can tell the front of the house is a little bit more modest. Definitely some windows and stuff. The roof, I didn't have a very tall roof because I put, of course, some solar panels on the roof. I want this to be completely self-sustainable. And with the sun going across the sky this way, there will always be sunlight on the roof. But I also had to kind of lay out the rooms on the interior to be able to really make the exterior work. And this isn't going to be the most functional house. I mean, there's already some things I don't like about it. Like, I like really tall ceilings. Well, Peely is probably, what, six foot? So this roof would be close to 10 feet, which would be nice in a house. It doesn't actually look like a 10 foot ceiling. I'm gonna have all of the bedrooms in the top floor, and then you're gonna go down into the main floor that has like the kitchen and everything. Well, I, you know what? I just gotta build it out and then I can give you a tour. Before I actually build out the interior, I've added some lights and that kind of stuff. I need to build the list for my family. So this is going to be where I have a little slide for the kids. I mean, I gotta use this primitive shape to this. There's really not a lot of space to do this. Oh man, building this was quite the pain. When you can kind of look at it from the interior here, I mean, it is really scuffed. Maybe not the safest for my kids, but uh, you can kind of go down here. <laughs> it's really bumpy, but it's nice and flush with the wall. You can see here how many pieces it took to kind of build around it. Woof! Hope you're happy, kids. Okay, next, my three-year-old wanted a trash can. Uh, I mean, I could literally just put a trash can in the corner here, but I want to make a cool trash can. I have an idea. Maybe it could be a trash can where it plays a video when you throw your stuff away. When you clean up your room, you can watch some TV. Oh, <laughs> that's the only way they can actually watch TV in their room. There's no way I'd ever let my kids have a TV in their room. But for the Fortnite house, may as well. Okay, here's my fancy trash can. Let's uh, see how it works. All right, so we're gonna pick up our trash off the floor here, and then we're gonna throw away the trash, and look, the TV works! Uh, I'm gonna make it so it only could be on for like 15 minutes before they have to pick up more trash or something. I, I don't know. Okay, the kids also asked for a playground. I'll build that 
in a little bit. My wife wanted a fireplace. I think there's a nice fireplace somewhere. I mean, there's this one in the Weeping Woods Gallery. Actually, that's not terrible. It doesn't really fit the house very well. Maybe what I could do is build around this, like something to make it look a little bit more custom. Eh, this isn't worth it. I think I could just make a custom, like just by itself. Like I don't need the other prop to build around. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit more custom. I mean, it's really not my wife's taste, I don't think. She doesn't really love the white marble, but it is what it is. Sorry, sweetie. Also, we gotta have the TV in my room. There's no way I'm not having a TV in my room. Okay, one of the other things that my wife wanted was a clawfoot bathtub, which is actually really easy because in the lighthouse gallery, there's literally a clawfoot soaking bathtub. I mean, it's got some yellow stains in it, but you're gonna just have to deal with that. <laughs> I'm not really a bathtub kind of guy. Like, I don't take baths, I take showers. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna build a freaking awesome shower in here. Actually, since we're here, let's just build one real fast. Oh yeah, baby, check this out. You got a walk-in shower with three shower heads that you can turn on. Oh man, now that's luxury. Oh, three shower heads at once. The last thing my wife wanted was built-in storage. Once again, a very adult request. You'd be amazed at how many times we just wanted more storage. <laughs> so I'm gonna build her an entire pantry here that has a ton of storage. Okay, there it is. Tons of storage for all the food we could ever eat. Okay, now I need to decorate the house. Okay, I'm completely done the house, I believe, but I still have to do my yard and the surrounding terrain, so uh, this is taking way too long. Okay, I'm done. Let me take you on a tour. So first, let's look at the surrounding area. Uh, Don't pay attention to the rows. There is literally no access to this house. I, as you can tell, I love mountains. I love trees and forests, and I love the lake out here. Like, this is my dream come true. Like, to have, like, a private little mountain cove with a private lake, it would never happen, but that's my dream house, right? I love pools and sitting outside and just being outside. Okay, I got pretty cheap on the kid's plague on here. Sorry, kids. <laughs> I just threw down some props. This is getting tired. All right, now let's look at the actual house. I love the wraparound porch. I love the idea of a porch that you could just sit on. You have shade. You can look out over your beautiful view. And there's even a second story porch where you can once again sit up here, enjoy the sunrise, sunset. Oh man, that is the dream right there. Okay, let's go into the house though. Okay, I love big kitchens where you can cook. There's tons of storage. I do all the dishes in my house. Guys, the key to a happy marriage is doing the dishes. So I can do the dishes here and watch TV at the same time or watch the game or whatever. Got a nice big table that can fit all of us. Now, I should say the decor, guys, is a little bit stiff for me. I like comfy stuff, big sectionals and stuff, but we don't have a lot of options in creative right now. A huge TV because the big TV is key. Over here, there's a reading area where I can sit down and I love reading, guys. It's one of my favorite things. Let's head on to the upstairs here. This is the entrance to the house. Nice, big, giant door. Now, I should say the artwork, I don't like any of this artwork, but I do love artwork, so I would love to have more art landscapes beautiful paintings that kind of thing and then in here's the library i know we already had like a reading area downstairs but i love reading once again and i want a whole room dedicated to it where i can come and just chill and read look at the kids rooms this is the twins i mean i, I skimped on the twins guys they're babies they don't care about decorations this is their bathroom i mean it's pretty standard bathroom they got the nice fishy carpets this is the actual kids room here with the garbage that you can pick up and you can watch tv from the garbage you can slide down to the living room they've got their beds there's toys on the ground they even have an exit to the outer porch there. And then the kids can come over to the parents' room where we have our, uh, I don't know, modern bed or something. Of course, the fireplace for the wife and the TV for me. Insane views. I mean, that's worth it right there. Got the awesome bathroom, the double vanities, and of course, the triple-headed shower. Now we're going to head on over here into the basement. We've got our workout equipment here. And then right here is our movie theater with stadium seating. Oh, yeah, baby. We've got a pool table. And then this is my office. I've got my war room table here fully connected to the internet where i can make my plans and calendars place i can sit here and watch youtube videos and then of course where i film with my giant movie camera so that's it that's my dream house which one of you would want to live here